today it's dark cold damp it's really turning into winter guys and um, uh, but it's a perfect time in which to make leaf mold this sort of weather really brings the leaves down onto the ground so it's perfect for it what I would suggest though is that you get out there and get them don't collect them from from really busy roads or anything like that because of all the pollutants and stuff but if there's a quiet road like here then you can collect them from that the contaminants will be relatively low but at this time of year it's all you know leaves are all over the place people use them they spread them on the ground and they also you know will dig trenches and bury them in trenches and things like that now if you're like a lot of people you will build yourself a wire cage and you will throw all your leaves in that wire cage or um, even compost bins things like that you'll throw all the leaves in and you will leave them decompose which takes around about 12 18 months to two years okay it's a long time guys now there is a way to speed that up and what you need to do is you need to collect your leaves okay um and as you can see here we have some maple and some beech leaves and we shred those leaves now you can use anything you wanted to shred uh, we we use lawn mowers we use shredders we use leaf vacuums anything like that that you can shred your leaves will be perfect for us it's all about this stuff this is leaf mold and it's one of the best additives you can give to your garden um, it really is good it think about these trees guys every single year a tree grows bigger on you know above the ground but below ground they're growing bigger as well they're sending roots further and further down every single year so each year is tapping into new nutrients that were unavailable to us because most plants like these don't get down far enough to get to those nutrients uh, the trees recycle those nutrients by dragging them up through the uh, root system and they put them out into the leaves those leaves then fall onto the surface of the ground at autumn and they have a couple of purposes they act like solar panels in the summer so they uh, photosynthesizing and and those nutrients are all locked within that leaf but when they land on the ground those leaves then carpet the floor they create a, a natural mulch which then stops any competing sort of trees and things uh, from coming up competing with the tree that's there already okay so it, it, it's twofold but those nutrients are then unlocked to the top layers of the soil and as you can see this stuff is absolutely beautiful you could sow your seeds directly into this so to get it this fine we make our leaf mold in six months guys so we could make four batches by the time most people are making one just by emptying those leaves into uh, a wire cage now we have a video right up here from last year that shows the exact process we use in which to produce this in six months um, what we're going to do this year's batch we're going to show you in June so you can see just how much is broken down and it is usable in June we have a couple of bins of this left this will end up in the garden uh, you know as a, a sort of top dressing to sort of enrich and build that organic matter in the soil bring some nutrients back to it and and that's what we'll be doing with what we got left this year as you can see here we shred our leaves four times okay guys um, we've got a couple of shreds and here you will see between the second and the third shred the natural fungal is growing so the um, mycorrhizal fungi and everything is all growing through the leaves already and this is just two days after the second shred but we shred four times so we just bang it through the shredder again okay and this is what happens at the fourth shred as you can see it's very fine okay and heat builds and it builds really really quick um, you can see the steam coming out of this in fact I burnt my hands when I was pulling this out but what happens after that steam build or after that heat build it subsides after a few days but while it's there it helps to break down those leaves even further and then after that heat subsides okay it stays warm in the center and that's where all the worms and things like that will move in now don't get me wrong leaf mold isn't a biological breakdown process it's a fungal but the worms and things still play a part in it now the fungi gets uh, going and even through the winter it's working really really well now 
we're going to try something new this year we're trying it in um 110 bags so we're filling that bag now to give you some sort of idea this bag here which has um been shredded four times holds 18 of these bags so it's a massive amount guys and you know so we know at the end of the year we're gonna have a few ten of this stuff that we can use and it's great we haven't got to buy compost or anything like that because this is the best stuff you can sow your seeds in and look how fine it is it looks like soil there's no smell to it but i'm going to give you another killer tip besides this video up here that uh, shows you how we did it in this video we used urine as a catalyst but um we also go to our local woods we scrape all the leaves and timber and stuff away on the local woods and we pull this stuff okay and this is just um, woodland soil we don't need a lot of it you need just enough to make a big tea bag and you squish it together like this it's got all woods and little bits of leaves and stuff like that in it but it doesn't matter we squash it together like this we put it in some hessian tie it up and we dump this into a water barrel what this does it releases all the microbes and everything and then once all those microbes are released and the fungi and everything else into the water you water this onto your leaves now talking of watering leaves it's really important to keep those leaves moist guys they have to be continually moist if you let them dry out all them fungi and things are going to die so you want to be watering your leaves every 10 days so if you want leaf mold like this in six months okay get yourself across to this video there'll also be links at the end of this video for you don't forget to subscribe guys and because it really helps us out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up because again that will help it to uh, be promoted elsewhere within uh, uh, youtube and google and things like that um anyway guys that's it from myself i hope to see you in the next one bye